now full outer join so how we can do the full outer join again we will go to data get data combine queries uh, merge but before doing the uh, full outer join for example um, if i write turnover in capital letters okay and uh, here we have a small uh, case sensitive issue for example we can also check if we have a data the rows are matching but they are uh, case sensitive on the left table, uh, the spelling is in capital letters, but on the right side, it's not in the, all the capital letters. So we will be applying the outer join and we will be uh, having an output that the case sensitive is, is the issue here or not. So let's uh, go to get data, combine queries, and we will click on merge. And from now here, we will select table one and then table two and we will select the join kind which is called the full outer and full outer means all rows from the both tables okay and we will select the primary column which is product id which is available in both call uh, tables and we will press ok so now the interface will uh, takes me to the power query window and uh, here we need to expand the data and then close and load so now um, i will expand the table too okay and uh, I will press close and load button. So now, as you can see that the Canor spelling is in capital letters, product ID, but here is in uh, is in a small letters. So this also matches with each other. Even eventually, if uh, we have a different spellings, for example. Uh, here you can see the product name is written in, in, in the proper format. If I write uh, here the column name in capital letters, still the join will work. The case sensitive issue uh, in the Power Query comes between the titles when, it, uh, when we apply the logic of appending the data. So when we do the appending, we need the case sensitive, we need to take care of case sensitive headings, headers of the tables. But when we are joining a two different kind of a tables, uh, the case sensitive is not much a matter of issue as I have demonstrated you, okay? So the fourth one uh, join, fourth kind of a join, uh, which is called the anti-join, let's perform that. So I will go to get data. I will click on combine queries I mean, I will click on merge. First, I will select the table one here, then again table two, identifying the common column. One more thing is that uh, you will find later on, on my YouTube channel as well. I have recorded some of the videos as well. That for when you joining two tables, you uh, this is not a rule that you primarily go with the one table, uh, common table, common column. You can select more than two columns as well as a sequence and on the back end this this is working as a concatenate so this is generating a new key at the back end and uh, these two columns for example product id and the product name has been uh, uh, joined together as a concatenate uh, concept and then it will search out for the transaction which are matching with each table as well so either you can go uh, by selecting a different kind of a single uh, selection or the multiple uh, column selection between the tables but now for for our, in this current example we are going with a common column and a single column matching which is called the product id and now we will be applying the inner join so inner join only gives an output whose rows are matching with each other okay so let's press ok and the interface of power query will come and here we need to expand the table two. So I will expand the table two here. And simply I will click on close and load. So my all the data will fetch in the Excel spreadsheet as an output from the Power Query. And you can see that in the uh, NT join, you will only get the output which all those rows which are matching from left table and the right table, right?